This is me, sophisticated, fashionista, extremely refined. I just happen to be the ex-wife of a former NFL football player, the mother of four children and a grandson, and then there's another side. Now, Craving Country is a bundle of me as a country girl who sings country music and just loves the whole aura of the country. So dealing with my farm animals, singing my country music, and hanging out with my country friends takes a lot of work. And yes, I do know how to drive a tractor. Now today I had the privilege to do a photo shoot with some turkeys. Yes, some real gobble gobbles. And we had the best time. I mean, I got that turkey, a couple of them, to pose with me. I put them in my arms, I fed them, and they even tried to follow me out of the gate. <laughs> Just think, a little tender love and care goes a long way, even in the country. Check it out. Now, before the photo shoot, I thought I'd catch me a couple of ducks. <laughs> Just to pass and kill some time. Well, old Michael tried to catch the duck, but he got away. <laughs> now, with all that commotion with the ducks, it was time for me to get dolled up, to get down and dirty. My first turkey photo shoot. Check it out. Take you down. You tell him to meet you on the Give me a kiss. Well, I really like all the farm animals, but this is special for me because I've never got a chance to pose with some turkeys. And my photographer, I've had him in all kind of poop, but not turkey poop. So this is a new piece of poop for him to walk in. But anyway, make long story short, I diva up in the country with these turkeys, these beautiful white birds, and we both had a wonderful time. And they enjoyed me visiting, and I enjoyed it as well. country. Well, we went down on the farm with Kimberly Dunn. These cows come a-running, too. I mean, they come a-running. And I went a-running, too. I went running right behind a pole, so I, cause I ain't used to no cows. Now, I drink milk, but I don't feed no cows. And this girl out there feeding the cows cookies. Cookies, of all things. I thought they ate hay. But she beat them good. I'm telling you, this girl like honey boo. Now all my life, I thought cows eat grass. Now she feeding them cookies. I guess that's how you make soup. Now my chickens, all my chickens are my prized possessions. They are my favorites. But we have fun together. We exercise, I chase them. Yes, I'm a professional chicken chaser. And my son is too. My son plays cornerback for SMU. And so when I found out he wanted to play cornerback, I had to teach him how to cut. So we went chicken chasing because a chicken knows how to cut at the drop of a dime. If he can catch a chicken, he can catch a receiver. And that's what we do. Now, I had to bring in the karate man to help me with a problem I'm having on the farm. My neighbor, Mr. Anderson, has an old wolf dog that likes to bother my chickens. And he hurt one of my chickens on last week. Actually, he hurt four of my chickens on last week and he killed one of them. So I had to hire somebody to help me, you know, take care of that old wolf dog. Now I didn't want to kill him, I just kind of wanted to 
rough him up a little bit to let him know that I'm in business so he'll stay off my property and stop hurting my chickens. And after I got through with him, I think he knew that I meant business because that karate man that I hired, he knows his stuff. Amazon! Amazon! You better keep that old wolf dog away from my old chickens and my cows. And I told you, this is my last time. You got to stop. You got to stop going after my chickens. Okay? Yeah, you got to stop. To I'm going to get the karate man on you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Them wolf dogs keep getting after my mom's chickens. See, we do it the new school way. Go get a, a gat and go pow pow, go after them. She want to do it the old school way, using the karate man. And me personally, I don't even think this man knows karate. I keep calling down the animal control. They won't help me. Mr. Mr. Anderson's old wolf dog keeps coming down there. He killed about three, four of my chickens and he hurts the rest. And I need some help. Won't nobody help me. I need your help. Little lady. You got to get it. See, see, you sound just like my son. I'm trying to do it the humane way, the way without hurting him. But I don't want to have to hurt him, but if that's my last alternative, I will. Now, I want to put a whipping on him. I want to hurt him. I want him to live. I don't want to kill him. They will not help me. I saw you on TV. That's why I called you out here. Mr. Anderson's wolf dog has killed about four or five of my chickens. He's hurt about 10 of them, and I need your help. So what do you suggest me do? Because I'm, I'm frustrated. Three Eyes General Contracting Team has successfully completed numerous public and private sector projects that range from ground-up construction to renovations and remodels. We are a schedule-driven company. Our people are experts at site-specific logistics and pacing the project. Our diverse experience and qualifications provide flexibility to create project teams specifically tailored to the requirements and needs of the owners. 3i has successfully completed the building and renovation of more than 50 schools, numerous retail, aviation, and transportation projects throughout the state of Texas. We are fully committed to our clients, our subcontractors, and vendors, as well as the communities we serve. Dogs keep getting after my mom's chickens. See, we do it the new school way. Go get a, a gat and go pow pow, go after him. She want to do it the old school way, using the karate man. And me personally, I don't even think this man knows karate. Ha! <laughs> 
I met Kim the Don at, uh, at the mall. Now this young lady was fine as all I do. But I didn't know she liked all I do. I'm telling you, she liked to be all I, I see, look at him. I was born in a hospital. I wasn't born on no farm. So I don't know how I hooked up this girl because she had a singing career. She wanted to do the singing career. I said, well, that's good. She got a singing career. You know, I'm being a stand-up comedian, you know, part-time and everything. Well, then she can open up for me. You know, Patty LaBelle opened up for Richard Pryor. So, you know, she can open up for me. You know, so I thought, we, you know, I thought she was singing, you know, you know, R&B because she you know she's fine like Beyonce. But man, let me tell you, she just like Honey Boo Boo. She's all over the place. Man, she out there had me chasing some chicken. I said, look here, I don't chase no chicken. I don't chase no chicken. The only thing I'm gonna chase is some Hennessy. That's all, I'm gonna chase some Hennessy, but I ain't chasing no chicken. And she's all outdoors in the mud and everything. I said, uh. Now, all of you that didn't know, I am a chicken chaser. I consider myself a professional chicken chaser because I like chasing chickens, and I think they like getting chased too. It's a workout. Now, when my son decided he wanted to play cornerback, I had to take him chicken chasing because chickens have the agility to cut to the left or the right. And so does a great receiver. So I told him, look, son, if you really want to play cornerback, this is the kind of workout that your mom has to take you to. Now, I couldn't do anything else, but I did what I could do. And we went and ran some chickens. <laughs> Check it out. They run from us and then they run to us. I call myself and go down to the farm and uh Get a little chicken run in before I had to leave, get my day started. And I guess I had been running the chicken so much until that rooster wasn't playing with me. He was waiting on me this day, and I tell you what, he chased me away from those hens. And uh, by the time I left the farm, I had to go put those clothes in the washing machine. I was muddy from head to toe. Ah! Every time I come down here, you know, I come to chase these chicks, but that damn rooster right there, whoo, that rooster got after me, boy, and I ain't lying, I failed this time, but boy, if it wasn't wet, I would have got away. <laughs> boy, this country life is out of sight. <laughs> Country. 3i enjoys accolades such as being the first African-American owned general contractor to build a ground up school for Dallas ISD. The first African-American owned general contractor to build a 195,000 square foot warehouse on a 6,000 acre master development plan. 3i has teamed with some of the largest general contractors in the nation to build the AT&T Stadium, renovate terminals B and E at DFW Airport, build new clinics for JPS Hospital, renovating the Dallas County Records Building, and building some of the most uniquely designed schools throughout Texas. We are fully committed to our clients, our subcontractors, and vendors, as well as the communities we serve. Now, I was just sitting here thinking about my buddy, Cisco. He works at the CB shop, but he is one of the funniest guys that I know. He looks like Willie Nelson. He has the music down to the science. He can play a guitar, and he, he, he makes me laugh on a rainy and gloomy day. Now, I try to take him along with me every, at every chance that I get. The way I met Cisco is I was auditioning him for my band. You just can't have a banjo. You gotta have, you know, a little bit of everything when you sing this country music. 
And I went and met Cisco, and I have not let him go see it. I get a feeling I when know, I sing it. I can't it. tune it. It's not tuned. I tried to get down there in the rain to get a tuner <laughs> for you because I wanted it to sound perfect if we picked it up. But I didn't know I was going to pick it up. I, I just been enjoying my selfish life of that. Yeah. And I scared of it. But, that but I've had some good selfish. times. Yes. That and that some guy said I'd worth a hundred million dollars. That's when I got in the closet. Oh, I'm a good comedian he, too, man. Yeah, I, I, I think. See. <laughs> I'm gonna go by what the people say. Okay. And children sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe in, yeah, yeah, I'm simple and faith, but very energized person. And try to learn to slow Honest. down. Yes, that's it. That's the best I, way. See, I that. talk what I feel, and that way you can read me. Okay. So everybody loves me, everybody jealous of me, and I hate them for that. Jealous? No, no I feel like they are sometimes when I got around the stage, but I didn't know it was happening. Like out the boxcar, I was out there. Yeah, natural. Well, they had open mic, and I got up there and acted silly. <laughs> One beer calmed me down and I was gone and some guy met me out there from ZZ Top and he tells me travel with Blue Oyster Cult Band and all this and yeah. me and Hunter me and he said, I'd love the way you did it, who are you, where you being, how old are you in a band? He scared me to death and I didn't wow. know him, his name was Jack and I said, you're another Jack I met out here in the two years, I've been looking for somebody that's serious well, about the birds. and I'm lost in the world of music. What happened to the birds? And I don't the really study team. music. He died on me and that was sad after 35 years. That's a very sad story. Wow. Believe me, that was my best friend you could ever have in and the world. Talked. But it took a man to handle a man, you know what I mean? I know. And then I still had to let him win. And that's not like Cisco to lose when he's right. Yeah. But Wally, I had learned to understand him and birds are very His name was Wally. hard to work with. Very, it's impossible what I did, but it's not. I used the Lord. That's what it was. I had a pig, Henrietta. Twelve years back here with the guitar, excuse me, just to get him to accidentally walk in my lap. And then he was outside twelve years from that backyard with the guitar work and he started dancing in the cage so I hung him. <laughs> Love it. Well I had this pig named Henrietta <laughs> and pig. she was a baby and we raised her from a baby and then she got to be six hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. They had to put her to sleep and right. I just could not take it. I had got attached to her. Uh -huh. She went from a piglet to a pig, to a hog, and I couldn't take it. I tell you, I, those animals are my best friends. I love those old animals. Yeah, but I talk to them. Are you crazy like that? Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy about it. Yeah, that. I chase chickens. I hear uh, goats, shear sheep, bay pigs, uh, milk the cows, mm. feed the cows, peach cobbler, yeah. ride the horses. Are you married? I don't know. You remember my memory? My boys have mercy. Dallas Cowboys shopping her around with the camera. Man, what you doing after football? <laughs> <laughs> they need help right now. We need the good guys of what the Dale Hanson just. And I love the Cowboys, so he's turning into my heart. Yeah. His songs start flying in my head because I guess I was born with that rhythm you and gotta rhyme like Hanson. You got to write them down. You got to write them down when you. I don't ever write them down, and somebody yeah, around me could have stole them many, many times. And I wrote one of my own. Uh, you got to write them down. You want to hear a written on that camera original. right quick? Right, and right. it's not tuned. All right. I had a mouth doctor and I smelled. Oh. Don't pay them to our kids. I found it this morning, I didn't I? My garage yes, yes, too. Uh, but uh, something like. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm a rattlesnake cowboy, don't you hear it? Let's see now, I didn't get it right. Got a feeling, saying I'm nervous. Got a feeling. Don't yeah, you don't have to be don't looking. Don't feel it. I won't look at you. Go on and feel it. Well, I'm a rattlesnake country boy. I'm running around looking for the rattlesnake country girl. Hey. Yeah, I'm going crazy. I'm looking for that rattlesnake country girl. I'll be your She's a one year old blue eyed little baby. I'm big girl. Country girl, yeah. Football. Now I'm falling in sequence there where I'm not in control. You know, and like I sing. I sing that part. And I looked at you I and it be, changed. I was trying to find you. And that's. I'll say that part. I'll I say, I'll, I'll be world. your rattlesnake I'll country girl. girl. Oh, you play tough. No, well, you're more like a blues. Yeah. I'll be your Country girl, yeah. Maybe a blue country girl. I'll be a girl. rattlesnake country girl. This guitar don't sound right. No. If I pull out the pick, it'd talk a little better. Is that bad news? 
I didn't know you was gonna do that. You scared me to death for sure. Father, man, every night. Not a bad girl, are you? Okay. Father, man, every night. Father, man, every night. One minute of sleep and was worried about the way things might have been. Big wheels keep on turning, proud Mary keep on burning. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the real line. I just can't, whatever came out of me. They better tell somebody. Well, we hadn't practiced and you scared me to death. All right, I don't want you to be scared now. Yeah, I better try to slow down, honey. <laughs> You know, every now and then, we like to do things kind of nice and fast. You ever heard of Highline Drive? This is really down in downtown. Highline, To the yeah. bars and the girls. And this boy wrote it from Alabama. It's really Highline, he is. He said, American Airlines. I'm a Highline. He said, I got the Highline Blue. Oh. Oh, not for me. I'll be looking for you now. Now, I love the country, and I love country music, and I always have. And my goal is to get to Nashville and become a great star. And one day, you might see me on TV, and I just might be a great big country star. Hope to see you soon. Well, I think you think this is a game.